Arsenal were not shy in splashing the cash last summer, spending a whopping sum of £208 million on three players. The addition of £105 million, Declan Rice has been particularly beneficial to Mikel Arteta's team, having helped stabilize the Gunners. As a result, they find themselves in the midst of yet another title race, while also having breezed through the Champions League group stage. However, if they are to compete for domestic and European silverware, they may need some extra reinforcements in key areas of the pitch. Mikel Arteta is keen to enrich his squad in multiple positions to aid their chances of topping the Premier League at the end of the season. Here is where Arsenal could look to bolster this January. Let's start with the centre-back reinforcements. Gabriel and William Saliba are arguably the best central defensive duo in the league and potentially the world's best central defensive partnership. So Arteta knows that neither of them will not be pleased to be left out of the action after coming extremely close to winning the domestic silver last season. Last season, Saliba's injury ended Arsenal's chances of winning the title. Arteta will want to make sure that there isn't a second lightning strike. Having said that, the drop-off from the aforementioned pair to whom they now have on their bench and reserves is concerning. Jurian Timber would be the perfect backup to Arsenal's formidable duo, but given he is currently sidelined with an anterior cruciate ligament injury, signing another centre-back may be a deft choice. And stepping up with Matches Delict. The domineering Dutchman, who is a member of the world's most expensive team in football, was the talk of the town in 2018 as both fans and analysts waxed eloquent over him on a weekly basis. Though his stint in Bavaria hasn't exactly ignited the Bundesliga, the 24-year-old is still highly regarded by Arsenal's coaching staff, including Arteta. De Ligt is a traditional defender who was starting to show promise at Turin before to being traded for £68 million in July 2022 to Bavaria. Although I wouldn't be shocked if Delight left Bayern in the summer, I don't think he'll be moving to Arsenal anytime soon. One thing we all know for sure is that Arteta enjoys a bit of versatility. Ben White, Timber, Jakub Kivior, and Tomiyasu are among the Gunners' defenders who can play both centre-back and full-back. Nico Schlotterbeck, a left-sided central defender for Borussia Dortmund, has demonstrated his ability to play left-back. Arsenal has also scouted Schlotterbeck, the German defender who has flourished since transferring to Signal Iduna Park in 2022. Arsenal are said to boast a long-term interest in the German defender and prizing him away from Dortmund this winter is unlikely. Schlotterbeck is an elegant defender who started all but one Borussia Dortmund's Bundesliga outings this season. The 24-year-old's profile and left-footed preference, not to mention his value to Dortmund, render him an incredibly valuable asset. A summer move is undoubtedly more likely. Without a question, this is the most interesting choice available. Despite a difficult season, Jorel Hato, a teenager, has been one of Ajax's shining stars this year. He has even occasionally led the Dutch powerhouses as captain. Hato is a player who plays much older than he is, and Arsenal is among the many European teams who have expressed interest in him. With 18 months remaining under his contract at Ajax, the versatile defender, who has earned parallels to Timber despite his predilection for left feet, may make this transfer in January. To bring in a teenager who may play a significant part during the run-in, this campaign would be a risk for the Gunners. However, there's no denying that any move for Hato in 2024 would be greatly beneficial for the long-term outlook of Arsenal's backline. Arsenal do have a number of midfield options, including the impressive Rice, to have the flexibility in the team, Arteta may need to bring in another elite midfielder. Mooted by Manchester City, Florian Wirtz is a wanted man, for good reason. The midfield magician has been a vital cog in Zabi Alonso's well-oiled Bayer Leverkusen machine and could provide a club in the Premier League with some much-needed creativity in the final third. The 20-year-old has amassed 31 goals and 42 assists in 126 outings since breaking out as a pale-faced teenager three years ago, a feat that has drawn interest from teams around Europe. The German was connected to Arsenal back in November, 
but whether they can sign him in January is a topic for another discussion. But it ought to be obvious to inquire about his services. The majority of Arsenal's engine room is tailor-made to how they'd like to play. Martin Odegaard is the engine of many of their strikes, while Declan Rice is the energy ball who can play both offensively and defensively. Kai Havertz, a summer addition, usually occupies the third midfield position, although his early performances have been a bit inconsistent. Arteta's midfield transformation would be completed by a defensive-minded midfielder who enjoys performing the grunt work while the aforementioned pair is free to charge forward and create opportunities. Look no farther than Aston Villa's groundbreaking ace, Douglas Luiz, who has been the center of attention for the team this season with eight goal involvements, three assists, and five goals. While it is unlikely that Unai Emery will move one of his most valuable assets to a rival team, vying for the same league spot, it is noteworthy that this hasn't stopped Arsenal from pursuing him thus far, as he is still at the top of their transfer wish list. Another player that the North London club have scouted in recent weeks is Real Sociedad's Martin Zubimendi. The holding midfielder has impressed throughout the rise of the La Liga club and has a release clause of 43.6 million pounds. Arsenal is willing to reopen negotiations with Martin Zubimendi. Arteta has suggested that Arsenal's long-standing interest in Real Sociedad midfielder Martin Zubimendi may be revived in January. Arteta has also stated his desire to buy a specialized midfielder after expressing concern over the void left by Granit Xhaka's move to Bayer Leverkusen. Arsenal's position has been boosted by Barcelona, dropping out of the race for Zubi Mendy, and La Real already securing a spot in the Champions League round of 16 for 2024. Real Sociedad will not entertain any offer lower than the full exit clause, and they won't want to lose a player of his caliber in January, so Arteta could have to wait until the summer to pursue a move. A new number nine will be very essential to the team. Arsenal is keeping an eye on Ivan Toney, a prolific forward for Brentford. The Gunners have even had discussions with the 27-year-old's representatives. Due to Ivan Toney's impending return from his eight-month ban, several elite teams, many of whom are in desperate need of a striker with an abundance of scoring potential, will be vying for his signature. Arsenal is one of those teams. Fortunately for Arsenal, the Brentford striker preferred Arsenal as his favorite destination. With 32 goals in 68 top-tier appearances, Tony would give Arsenal's offense the much-needed cutting edge. His toughness and diverse skill set would also be a welcome addition to the team located in North London. With neither Gabriel Jesus nor Eddie Nketiah able to provide a flurry of goals, snaring Tony would be a wise move. It is still unclear if Arsenal will have the resources to pay the £100 million for his services this January transfer window. But this transfer might send shockwaves across England's top division, with Tony probably eager for the challenge and the possibility of playing in the prestigious tournament firmly in his mind. A more cost-effective alternative could be Feyenoord striker Santiago Jimenez, the Mexico international subject to scouting visits from Arsenal. Strongly linked with North London rivals Tottenham, the 22-year-old has racked up some impressive goal-scoring numbers this season already. His prolific goal-scoring form, with 13 goals in 12 games, has made him a sought-after asset in Europe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.